All right, so it's time to talk about U.S. Steel. We did a video on this some time ago. The trade's been awesome. But right now, it's setting up for even a more awesome trade if you're an actual trader. So let me show you the charts, and you can see what I'm talking about. Let's look at U.S. Steel. All right, all right, U.S. Steel. I talked about this. <laughs> so I was checking the stock out last year, and that's what these lines are about, man. This thing's been in a downturn like forever, <laughs> right? And I'm drawing, I draw a line here, right at the top of the channel, waiting for the breakthrough, which was right here. And then we had a little trade here, and then it started going down. So I had to draw another line, which, because we got faked out, right? So I drew another line, right, from here to here. And then I waited for it to cross. Boom. Okay, there's the trade. And that was an interesting trade setup, right? Because if you would have bought here, man, you're making all kinds of money. But then again, it did it again, right? Bounced right here. Started going down. So I had to draw another trend line. Wait for the break. And there it is, right? So some people worry about my lines and that they don't make money. Well, they do make money because you can see when they break the lines and you've made a trade, you could actually make some money. So if you bought here, wow, at $7, it's trading at $24 now? Isn't that a 400% move? Almost, almost 400%. So let me show you what I'm looking at right now. Not quite necessarily a 400% move, but a trade, right? So we're looking at the weekly. You know, I love my weekly charts. And I got this support line and then, right, that diagonal trend line, right? And you can see how it's bouncing right off the trend line. Trend line's been perfect since February, February 22nd. So let's go ahead and zoom into the daily chart so you can see it a little better. Right, here's the daily here is that support. And it's just been taking off, it's been doing its thing. And look, look, we're right here, ready to make a move higher, right? Something like that. I mean, let me put it at about 70%. And I'll show you why. I'm gonna show you why I'm moving it right there at that particular angle, All right? So every time this thing has bounced, right? Hit that trend line, we had a nice little move up, right? Came here, right? Perfect. Nice little move up. Here, a little fake out, but it moved up. I mean, that move right there, this little move right there is worth 20%, right? Went from $20 to $25. You could have made some nice money there, but it came right back down and hit the line again. And then in this particular move, it went from basically $21 to $30. 39%. Well, we're back at the line again. And the reason why I drew the angle this way, because I was actually measuring angles. I took every, every move, right? That's a 72 degree angle. This one is a 83 uh, degree angle. This one, oh, I'm going to have to do it like this. Yeah, do this one. This is a 66 degree angle. And then this little small move here is a 61% angle. So I was like, you know what? If it were to bounce here and do what it's been doing in the past, let's go ahead and make it 70%. So there's 70%. And then that's the particular move. And I even drew it here because every single one of these bounces led to a higher high, right? It's actually making a channel. So how about another higher high? And I could actually just go ahead and draw a vertical like that. Oh, I'm gonna have to hold on. Let me shrink it down here. Draw a vertical like that, and then look. Oh man, I drew that perfectly, right? I drew that line perfectly. So we can almost expect, we can expect U.S. Steel to reach the top of this channel somewhere around June 4th, June 5th. It's only a couple of weeks from now, and it'll be at thirty-two dollars. Now, I don't know if it's going to be at $32 or not. I've just taken the charts. I just looked in the past. I just kind of measured out what it's been doing and then kind of projected it into the future a little bit. So we like, we're really getting specific on this one. $32 by June 4th. You got to take it with a grain of salt, though. But what I really like is the fact that it's bouncing off that trend line and it can, it's basically the setup to go higher. So, uh, I'm in it. I made a trade. I'm going to show you the trade. I did a put spread, and I think I, 
I'll show you the trades. I'm going to have to actually look, see what the hell I did. But I, I, I'm in it. I sold the put spread, and I'm going to see what this trade can do for me. So I figure I'd share it for you. Put it in the archive so later on we can say, God damn it, that Dre trades was right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this video. Or I could be wrong. Yeah, God damn it, that Dre trades was wrong again. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching, man. That's Dre, Dre Trades. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and right here. Hit me up in the comments and we can talk about this trade. I'm out. Peace.